All of us have different and very unique experiences. No two of us are the same, not on any level or at any given moment. I've had a pretty unique perspective on things because that is simply what my own life has taught and shown me and that began with brief death, near death experience, aged four, which resulted in a shed load of flashbacks and clear memories, not just of my, at that point, very short life here, but flashes being born, flashes of just prior to being born and of past lives. And it was aged eight, where laying on the grass at school, cloud watching one day, I could just feel that one particular connection was back here somewhere, same as I was and I wondered who he was now, what his family was like, was he happy, just general thoughts as you would about anyone you knew who popped into your mind. Now considering this happened decades ago, near death, there was no name or reference to the kind of connection I was feeling to this other. It just was what it was, and it is what it is. Over the years, every now and again, he'd pop into my mind and I just knew he was having the experience he was supposed to be having and that's all that mattered, just the same as I was, with no idea or expectation that we would ever even meet again in this lifetime. What would be, would be, even if that was nothing at all, like maybe this time we were here to take what we learn in this life to help with continuing the evolution in the next one, or not. Who knows, I've not been privy to that yet. What did matter was the connection of being here at the same time for the same reasons, and that there was work to do. Very long story short, what became clear after I started having dreams and astrals very suddenly a few years ago, and even being shown who he was now, was that parts I'd been shown from previous lives all had a consistent running theme and pattern through them. We were never together as partners, never had that kind of relationship. Sometimes they were very brief meetings in 3D that was always timely and purposeful and always coming from two different sides of a situation but were able to help each other out of a situation to instantly change a path but were sometimes just as instantly out of each other's lives again. Maybe it was simply that it was going to take a feminine and a masculine set of energies to change particular timeline courses that would affect the future significantly. Evolution. There was a life I was shown where he wasn't even in it at all, and I can remember a kind of empty feeling throughout that life. Not empty as such, rather just not there, independent. It was one of the hardest lives. I don't remember much, but I remember that much. The feeling of it is far more prominent than the few images and scenes given of it. In another life we worked together and were the best of friends for life after getting jobs in the same place. I was a maid and he was a gardener. Then even in another life, my last life, where as solid as he looked to me at the time, we never spoke. There was an age gap of about 20 years and I remember young me thinking at the time that he must have been like a handyman or something because he would appear standing in the doorway like he was checking up on me just making me feel everything was okay after I'd lost both parents. All of it, every single life, was about being there in the right way at the right time, working together to change a course. Looking at it now, I think I was seeing what others around me couldn't like he was more of a reassuring guide at that time. Point being, we were still working together in whatever way was needed at those times, be it to stay on a path or completely change a direction. And it really is all about evolution. The dreams, the astrals, that came so thick and fast a few years ago, along with huge direction changing downloads, it's unclear whether I was being shown the past on different planes or glimpses of the future, completely different timelines or hints of future evolutionary connections. As with everything, what doesn't always make sense in the moment usually makes sense much later down the line. Some of the pieces have since fallen into place and it really is fascinating stuff. This life has been very different again as you can imagine with the knowledge this time round we all of the above 
and my understanding of it has always been the same. He was looking for something, but couldn't put his finger on it, and whether he ever figured it out or not, it didn't matter. Again, whatever would be, would be, and a deep knowing that I wasn't to get in touch with him or do anything at all until he either figured it out himself, and I had this deep-rooted feeling that he would be the one to get in touch with me. That happened, just as I knew it would but for a completely different reason than you'd imagine. And that's the difference between paying attention to what them up there actually tell you word for word what is going to happen, while not being presumptuous as to what the reason would be for. So in effect, we're still working together. It is a connection, much the same way we cross paths with anyone we have connections with. It's just a little more concentrated, for want of a better word, still coming from two different perspectives and situations, but with the shared knowledge at least of what work needs to be done this time with the same purpose. It is fascinating stuff, and the thing that has shown me to date to be the reason for it this time in this life was to literally learn about myself, my own perspectives, knowledge, recognising signs, things, frequencies, understanding of how it all works in other areas of life, which has been ongoing since child of course, showing me how the evolution itself has worked going from lifetime to lifetime. It is all purposeful. It is all timely. It is all work and it has a point to it, evolution. Likewise, his own path and journey and the purpose of it as a unique individual are equally as important re-energy, the use of it, where to direct it and how with a deeper purpose than ever will be realised to the outside eye. I get the feeling that this is where so much confusion is had by so many re these connections and certainly from my own perspective and empathy, it hurts when I see people clinging to a connection in hope of somehow revealing the love they are yearning for and they're delaying the very opportunity of that by misunderstanding the connection. It breaks my heart seeing people in abusive relationships, for example, because they've misread or assumed something mistakenly or tried to guess what the purpose for the connection might be reading something into it and totally misunderstanding it or feeling like they have to just deal with this forever because of that initial connection. But it's just not that way, not for everyone. Everything is unique and planned and individual and will all happen at the right time, however it's supposed to happen, in whatever way it's supposed to happen or not happen. But at the same time, everyone, absolutely everyone, is here to have their own experiences and figure it out for themselves, join their own dots, see their own patterns, come to their own realisations in their own times. So none of it is wrong as such, outside of learning and realising whether you are trusting or ignoring your own instincts, stubbornly persisting on a path and missing the entire point of yourself. For example, of course there are going to be deep inner knowings about certain things or events yet to come. That is what we're here for after all. But if there's a feeling of an inner knowing being misconstrued by a tangent bad feeling being ignored at the same time, that shows instincts are being ignored, parts are being clung to, the wrong parts at that, and really for the wrong reasons. Sincerity is needed. Are you doing things for sincere reasons? Are you being sincere towards another? All questions you need to ask yourselves. And the answers are only for yourselves. Only you can know what is happening with you. Only you can know why you're making the decisions you make. Only you can know whether you are coming from a place of sincerity or stubbornness or not. But it is all learning, so it's all good whichever way you look at it, as long as it is learned from, and it usually is eventually. And if it is love that you are looking for and is behind all the bad feelings you ignore, 
then my advice would be to stop looking for love and start looking for respect because that is where you will find it. Not just respect for you, but for someone you respect everything about. Even the word respect has been twisted over time. Respect does not mean to accept. So understanding what respect means in the first place is pretty important too. I hope this makes sense. The important part is for you, your own life, your own experiences, your own lessons, your own instincts and your own paths. And what comes together from that, or in what way, is all a part of a much bigger picture and you owe it to yourself to understand you and to understand that. Take all of the above with a pinch of salt. It's all okay, but do make sure you are following and listening to your own guidance. Getting to know yourself is vital to your own journey. Getting to know yourself rather than trying to get to know another is key. You have the key. The locks will appear with little to no effort whatsoever. Sincerity is the key and that sincerity must begin with yourself and that sincerity, that key will open another. Evolution. See the changes that are needed for future generations. We're living the thoughts of past, good and bad, upsides and downsides, with a view to going forward. What's worked from your current perspective in this lifetime? What hasn't worked from your current perspective in this lifetime? What thoughts fill your whole soul with joy and excitement just thinking about them, knowing that your very thoughts can help create these things in the future? Think about what would make life better and easier next time round. Think about the physicality needed in the future from the physical perspective you have now and what would help. Think about the things you wish you could do right now and would love future generations and a future you to be able to do. Think about fun things, freeing things with good intentions. You are a creator. You are important. You are the future. Remember who you are. Much love always.